This video might make more sense if you watch the first episode as well, right over here. The location is essential to get the most out of your cold frames. I pick a sunny location and depending on the topography, I orient it to capture as much sun as possible. But a sunny location is the priority. Ideal orientation is secondary. When building the PVC arch supports, I give it a 3 inch minimum clearance underneath. My cold frames are on a grass lawn with grass growing up to the bed. The grass trimmer can cut right to the beds without hitting the PVC pipes. These metal brackets secure the arches tightly on the 2x4 ridge, like ribs to a backbone. This ridge is the only area where the main piece of poly is permanently attached, so it needs to stay put. The ridge will eventually shift and slide if the brackets are too loose. And if too tight, the pipes will crack. The best is to sandwich a piece of flexible material between them, making the connection tight but flexible. Invest in a good quality UV resistant greenhouse poly. It is more robust and lasts longer than a construction type vapor barrier. To make a strong and durable connection here, Temporary staple and roll the poly around the wood at least one complete turn before finally screwing it down. I drill some pilot holes slightly bigger in diameter than the screws, only on one piece of wood. This way screwing will pull them tight to each other. Under high wind conditions, I can quickly secure the poly with some bungee cords and nails. I can also use it to keep the poly safely rolled up. However, I rarely do that as it tends to stay put when rolled up. Whether using a shade cloth or bug screen on the cold frame, these affordable clamps are ideal. They are flexible and are available everywhere in stores. But don't use clamps that have too much force, which might damage the pipe. Please give me a thumbs up if you like my video.